Hey guys, Sandy here. Welcome back to my channel. Today's sketch is this one that has a landscape photo and two smaller ones and a little bit of fun stuff going on there. Now I am going to be using my black and white How to Kill a Kit with Style because I'm just loving the black and white kit this month and I've decided that green is going to be my pop of color. I'm going to be scrapbooking some cacti photos. Uh, from Arizona from Creativation 2019. So let's see what I can do. All right, you guys, I just really love this green on green paper. And it's not because it's some sort of epic, beautiful um, pattern or anything like that. I just really like this color green. And I like the little leaves on it. I think that they are, you know, kind of beautiful. Now, I am leaving the leaves probably what would be considered upside down uh, because the stems are coming from the top. And um, yeah, I just realized that at this moment. So I'm not going to change it, obviously. And I'm just going to deal with it and just enjoy the pretty green of the paper. So I have this black and white stripe from Echo Park and I decided to have my stripes go vertically uh, instead of horizontally. And then I need something to go across the join. Now I do take this washi tape and it's got sort of a uh, mm, an almost chevron pattern to it. Um, and then I put it down and realize <laughs> I don't realize how crooked it is um, until I peel it up and look at it. And then I'm like, what the heck did I do here? I made this super crooked. So I peel off the washi tape and this time I properly use the grid mat and uh, go ahead and span that washi tape across the page. Now, let's talk about the grid mat for a second. So this is my second grid mat and this one is pink on both sides my other one was pink on one side but it was a lighter pink and it was neon green on one side and I no longer have that bad boy um, I used the crap out of it for years and years and years and it was just so stained and so cut up upon and just just a mess that I decided it was time to go move on now I love this pink grid board here, but I'm wondering if something more neutral um, would be better for videos. I really don't know. Um, I mean, I don't even, guys, you see my table underneath, you see the little Easter egg. I mean, I guess if I was really that concerned with what you saw in the frame of the video, I wouldn't let you see that. I mean, you see when I'm drinking a glass of wine, I'm drinking... Uh, tea today, iced tea out of a glass uh, beer mug from Germany. And, you know, you see, you see stuff around the edge. So, I don't know. Maybe I'm borrowing trouble because I don't really care if you guys see the extra bits around the edge. It's not that I don't care, but I don't mind you seeing what's around the desk. I don't mind you not seeing just what's in the frame of the layout. I guess it's because I don't care if other YouTubers have stuff outside of the frame. I don't know. Anyway, I've, I've done the pink for years and it's just been that way. So I don't know. I don't know. Um, I'm just kind of playing around with it in my head, thinking about it. Not exactly sure. Um, if I want to change it up, um, I think it was Alta New that I saw had a really nice, pretty gray one, but I will see. So I do mat the four by six photo on some black cardstock, and then I cut down these uh, two smaller photos down to three by four, and then I decide that that's too large, uh, so I cut them down to two and a half by three and a half. Um, which is funny that that was too large because once I cut them down to two and a half by three and a half, I pull out two three by four cards to use as photo mats for them. But I guess if the photos were this big and then I matted them, that would, that would add a lot of bulk to this page. So as you guys can see, I'm basically kind of ignoring the bracket thing here. Um, 
I don't, I don't want to put that bracket thing on there. Um, I've used sketches similar to this where I've used the bracket thing, but I'm not feeling it, you guys. I'm just not feeling it for this layout. And that's okay. You don't have to follow a sketch exactly. Um, you can if you want to. It's just like scrap lifting. So if you scrap lift someone, you don't have to follow them exactly. Um, yesterday, we celebrated Kelsey's uh, 2000 subscriber um, milestone here on YouTube. And I scrap lifted her. And I pretty closely followed that scrap lift. Um, just I, I just loved her page. And we were celebrating her. So I pretty closely scrap lifted her. Uh, but there's also times where I have scrap lifted someone and you might look at it and go, did you really scrap lift them? Um, it's, just a it's just a matter of how much of your own spin that you want to put onto your layouts. And if you want to scrap lift where you are essentially, um, you know, in love with someone's layout enough that you want to duplicate it, then by all means, have at it. But if you're just like, I just want to add a little bit um, and then make it my own, do that too. Like there's no wrong or right way to scrap lift. Um, there's just not. Um, well, maybe if you created a layout that was a scrap lift and didn't tell anybody and say it was your own original idea, that might be an issue. Don't do that. Um, so I do uh, overlap this little... Um, embellishment thing from American Crafts. Remember, it's the townhouse vinyl elegant embellishments. And I overlap a sticker that said, oh, nope, I still have the square flare. So at first I put the square flare that says, I think you are lovely, um, because I thought, you know, these are great. Uh, the cactus pictures are lovely. Uh, but then I decided I did not want that, and I went ahead and put down this circular one that says hashtag awesome. And I was thinking about adding the little, um, the second little circle over there as well, um, but I decided not to do that and put uh, taking the scenic route uh, sticker and placing it on there. Now that's this is this is kind of funny because um, we. Christina took Kari and I to the, I can't remember what it's called, some sort of botanical garden. And we got there and it was expensive to get in. And we were like, do we really want to pay the money just to go look at some cactus? And we decided, no, we didn't want to pay the money. We would look at the cactus that were outside uh, for free. <laughs> um, so... That's why I wrote taking the scenic route, um, or not wrote it, but used that sticker because I thought that that was funny. Um, and then I used these little snarky stickers that says there's just not enough time in the day for all the stuff I'm not going to do. And I just think that that's hilarious. For this layout, I think it's hilarious. Now, I'm not going to journal about this. I'm not going to journal about it because I have other cactus pictures that are in this album and I've told the story on those pages so I don't feel the need to retell the story um, and if for some reason this layout gets separated from its companion layouts for all the cactus this will make no sense to anyone um, but you know what that doesn't that doesn't matter to me it doesn't bother me I'm not worried about it and why am I not worried about it because they're already going to have a hard enough time wondering why the heck I have entire scrapbooks dedicated to trash cans. Like, they're going to think that, you know, whoever this person is that made this scrapbook is a freaking maniac. And, you know, that's just the way it is. And I'm okay with that. Doesn't bother me. Now, I am uh, pulling out some florals. I want to uh, embellish this a little bit. So I have this little chipboard... Uh, camera that has a little bit of green in it and then I'm digging through my uh, florals just to see what I can do and I think I'm gonna try these vellum florals but no they just they just kind of clash I think that they're gorgeous or they're not vellum they're acetate I think that they're gorgeous but they just don't go with this layout so um, I'm flipping through and I eventually find 
some of the 5th and Monaco uh, black and white floral die cuts that go with that 5th and Monaco floral paper that I used. Um, because you guys, I didn't want the bracket, but I still needed the weight of whatever was there. Um, so that's why I put that uh, square piece of paper down. And I think it looks great uh, even with it out be without it being the bracket shaped. You know, I think it looks great. Um, so I do go ahead and pull out the freckled fawn hearts. Now, the chipboard and the hearts are what kind of were the catalyst for a black and white kit. And I hadn't really used any of the hearts. And I think I've used like one little piece of chipboard. So I was thinking to myself, self, you need to get on that. So that's what I did. I ended up using six hearts. And I just thought about using these Love From Lizzie peel-off hearts because they're super tiny. Uh, and I thought that they would just add a little bit of extra, you know, woof, to the page. Um, but they don't. They don't. I figure it's going to be too much. Now, I pull out these circular stickers. And these are from Chamel's Little by Little collection in that sticker book. And I'm going to go ahead and spell out Arizona. And I don't have any more ends. Uh, so I do use a Z turned on its side. And I think it's perfect. Um, I know that it's a Z turned on its side, so I kind of see the Z, but you know, if you were just glancing at this page, I don't think you would think, did she, did she take a Z and turn that sideways? Is, is that what she did? Like, I don't think that it's that noticeable. And if it is, girl, you got a good eye. That's all I've got to say about that. So I know that it's not just going to be Arizona. I gotta, I gotta have other words. So I go to these gold um, thickers right here, and I don't have the letters that I need. I do have a second pack of these, but I just, you know, sometimes I just want to Frankenstein and use up as many as I can before I absolutely have to dig into the other package. So I take the K, and I cut off the part that makes it a K, and then I take the little dots from the eyes that I never use, and uh, put them on either side of the naked K, and voila, we have a T. So I have Cacti, Arizona, and then I grab my little Teresa Collins uh, letter stickers because I love these letter stickers for the in-between words. I like an, of, the, at, or, but, you know, all those. Um, all those great little words. So I go ahead and do that, so now my title is Cacti in Arizona. I decide to bring down the gold a little bit since I only have it on the upper part of the page in the two circular stickers and also in one of the words from the title. I figured I needed to bring it down here as well. So I put a tiny little piece of gold washi tape underneath of that chipboard camera piece and then I take another circular sticker. This time I'm going to pop it up on a little foam rectangle and uh, kind of overlap it over the flower. So that is going to do it, guys. Here is my layout for the day. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you try this whole thing of using black and white and one color, because I just think it's gorgeous. I just think it's just, it just pops, and it gives you a wow, and a punch, and a pizzazz, and all the, all the, all the fun adjectives. Adjectives, can't even say it. Thanks so much, and... Wow, I, I'm losing it, guys. Thanks so much for watching. I will see you again real soon for another video.